Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to change out a drive wheel, change out the wheels on a belt drive board. And first step, we're gonna use an Allen key to remove this plastic cap. Okay, once we've got that off, we can see that the four bolts that hold the molder in place are visible. So let's go ahead and loosen those up. Okay, so once we've got those loosened up, we can see there's no tension on the belt anymore. Okay, so that motor is now loose. So we can go ahead and take that wheel off. We're gonna use the T-tool that came with your board to loosen the nut. Take the wheel off, take the belt off. So that motor is sliding back and forth here. So we're gonna install an AT wheel on here today. These are the stock wheels that come on Summit. Let's go ahead and get that 335 belt on here. Now we're gonna install the pulley next, okay? So let's just go ahead Fit those teeth of the belt into the teeth of the pulley. Go ahead, let's pull back on the motor. So I'm using my thumb against the motor mount and then I'm using my two fingers to pull back on the motor. So now I can tighten that motor in place. That's a pretty loose belt right there, guys, okay? So that still works. And you're not going to get many belt breaks, many belts breaking when you have it that loose. But also the board is really not going to be responsive, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the board more responsive by tightening the belt more, okay? So let's get as much leverage as we can on that motor, okay? Now, that's a tighter belt right there. So let's go ahead, tighten up the bolts that are visible, which is only three, which is different from when we had the 90 millimeter wheel on there where we could get access to all four bolts. We can't get access to that fourth one in behind the pulley right now. Okay, we've got these ones tightened up. Let's go ahead and take this back off. So what we're gonna do, we're going to twist it and lift up at the same time, okay? Easy. So now we've got access to that fourth bolt. If you guys don't wanna go through that final step, take this off, okay? Just take it out completely and then you won't have to remove the belt and the pulley and we can just use three bolts. Three bolts is sufficient, okay? But we're gonna, we're gonna install all four here. Um, just giving you guys a shortcut if you guys want to use a shortcut in the future. Let's go ahead. Let's get that belt back on there. Okay, we're pulling the belt forward. We're getting the pulley back on there now. So we've got that fit in there. And now we're placing the teeth of the belt over the teeth of the pulley. Okay, now we're just gonna twist. There we go, guys. Everything's fit and snug. All the bolts are tight. Let's get the plastic cap back on there. Final step. Okay, so the Summit AT wheel has two sides. This is the outside. This side fits into the pulley. If that happens, just use this too. 
push it back down. Washer, nut back on. Okay, so you guys can follow this step on any belt drive board, okay? So this goes for our Summit XT model as well. So we can follow the same process on the Summit XT. Okay.